So, Palagi has been trending like crazy lately. You might ask, what is Palagi? What are you even talking about? Well, Palagi is an OPM song. It's a Filipino song originally by TJ Monterde. Who is TJ Monterde? TJ Monterde, I know him as Casey Tandingan's husband because I'm more familiar with Daisy Tandingan who is a beautiful, powerful, creative Filipina singer slash belter. Yes, she can belt too, okay? And also she won uh, a Filipino vocal competition. So, TJ Monterde is the one who created Palagi, all right, that I have never heard of before. Yes, I missed that train and we are going to fix that today because we will be reacting to Palagi live at the Cozy Cove. I love the Cozy Cove, bro. So, it will be TJ Mon Monterde performing Palagi at the Cozy Cove but we're not gonna stop there yes because this is a comparison video if you will all right so why do you think palagi is so popular today nowadays because the original song came out months ago it's because there was a, some type of remix like a wedding version that's how they like to call it between tj monterde and Casey Tandingan, yes sir. So, we will be reacting to Palagi by the couple as well. I'm not gonna react to like a super official version to avoid copyrights. I have chosen a live performance that they did in Mindanao in uh, Cagayan de Oro City, which apparently is in the north of Mindanao and Mindanao is in the south region of the Philippines. Most Muslim people live there and unfortunately that is the also the poorest region of the Philippines if I'm not mistaken. As a matter of fact, maybe you guys don't know that but my father traveled to the Philippines a couple of time and a couple of times and he uh, went to Mindanao as well. Yeah. So yeah, and it's also a home concert for TJ Monterde and Casey Tandingan because I believe that they are both from Mindanao. There you go. So we're gonna do that comparison. And if this video isn't too long, um, I might look for, look up like a translation version of this song so that we can understand the lyrics. There you have it. I hope you guys are gonna enjoy this reaction as much as I will. But before we start, maligayang ang pagbabalik sa akin channel. Ako po si Ovela, I'm a sound engineer, beat maker, and content creator on YouTube who loves the Philippines. <laughs> and with that being said, let's jump right into it. Here we go. Let's discover the song together. Palagi. I love the live performances uh, at the Cozy Cove. It's so warm. It's not easy to pronounce Cozy Cove because it's they sound the same. <laughs> At ilang beses na rin tayong humihindi Di na mapilang ang ating mga tampuhan Okay, the first impression. I like the slow start. I, lo I love the snaps and the guitar. So far, it's reminding me of a song that could have been written by Moira de la Torre. Really, really. So maybe she helped him write it, I don't know, or maybe she wrote it, but it sounds like her work. Also, TJ Monterde, what does he do? Is he a singer? Is he an actor? What is he really? Is he both? 
I don't know. Clearly, he's a singer, but maybe he's something else as well. Babalik, hey, even Babalik. Babalik is in the title title of one of Moira de la Torre's songs. Babalik, Babalik, Sayo, something like that. Ulit uli Hey Wait, 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 that's cheating I have, I don't see a guy, you know, playing that instrument You know, the shines Or maybe he's hidden somewhere Let me rewind just a little bit Yeah, I don't see someone do the. <laughs> so there is a playback somewhere. Mm-hmm. Or does the drummer have that instrument next to him and I didn't see him like play it? I don't know. It's a nice song, you know, so far the original one sounds like, sounds like a typical, you know, OPM song, to me at least. There is nothing really gripping or particular about it, you know, for now. It's catchy. And of course, I'm talking musically speaking. Uh, maybe this song got popular because of its lyrics, which we may discover later at the end of this video. I love that we can hear the audience, which really showcases that it's real and it sounds amazing. Hey, that was a beautiful ending. <laughs> Loved the ending. I love the fact that there were no instruments at the end, you know? It felt more heart heartfelt, you know? He he felt I felt closer to him that way. I don't know. I really really enjoyed the ending and the beginning. So the intro and outro. The middle was fine, but like I said, nothing really stood out to me, you know. 
but maybe the wedding version might be slightly more electric you know maybe that's why it's so popular nowadays all right let's move on to it right now here we go what's what's up with the video okay so tj monterde oh i like his logo check it out he's got his own oops what am i doing He's got his own logo right here. Here, you can see it. Um, yeah, let's keep going. Here we go. Wow. Yeah, see, it's very popular, especially nowadays. Did you hear the reaction of the audience? They went nuts! Okay, I don't see KZ so far. Wow! Oh, that's a big audience. <laughs> Did you see the guy? He was fast asleep. Let me catch him. I have to catch him. This guy. This guy is out with his girlfriend. She's cute too. Look at him. He is gone. <laughs> He's like, this is not my type of music. All right, leave me alone. All right, sounds like the original so far. Oh, there's a delay. Is it me, or does this song remind you of Moira's song, Tagpuan? It reminds me of her song. And I remember someone in the meet and greet, in my meet and greet, sang this song beautifully. Yeah, man, that song is so beautiful. Yeah, man, it yeah, has strong Mora de la Torre vibes. And I would say even a little bit of Tadhana, you know? Forgot the name of the... Uh, of the artist, Tadhana. It's just this version is slightly more faster and more energetic. Why are they getting excited? Did they see KZ? Woo! Here we go. It's <laughs> it's so weird to see her husband, right? Like a man right there. And then you see Casey Tandinga dressed as a man with a freaking tie and everything showing up on stage. Like, what? <laughs> She's so tiny, Casey. But we love her, right? We love her. Aww. Casey, Casey. I think it came back to me. The name of the artist that sang Tadhana, isn't it? Up dharma down i think that's where it is i think that's where it is but i'm not 100 percent sure oversized clothing for kz always
Do you think this version is very popular today because Filipinos are feeling kilig, you know, because they know that they are married and they're singing this song together and probably the real the lyrics are very meaningful and, you know, they really target like a relationship, right? It's probably like cute emotional lyrics, if I had to guess, you know, maybe. <laughs> TJ Monterde is a good singer, you know, but he doesn't have that X Factor. And I think she won an X Factor, right? Um, KZ Tandingan, if I'm not mistaken, she won the show X Factor in the Philippines. I think, uh, I'm not, I'm not, don't quote me on that, but I know she won a talent vocal show in the Philippines, but I'm, I don't remember which one. Uh, but she has the X Factor. Her voice, man, is so soulful. She's got something more than TJ. Hug, hug. Oh, 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 see? I knew it. I knew it. <laughs> I knew it. I knew it. It's not really the song. People are excited about the fact that it's both of them on this song. As soon as it looked like they were gonna kiss, they went nuts. Nuts. And I doubt that they would do something like this in the Philippines. You know, like two artists that are in a couple that would kiss on stage. <gasps> Can you imagine the, uh, the, 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 the headlines? Seriously. It, that would get them a lot of publicity, that's for sure. <laughs> wow. Sweet, that's so sweet. Come on, at least a hug. At least a okay. There we go. <laughs> at least a hug or a Once kiss again, on the cheek. Miss KZ Tandiga, my wife. Say my wife. Come on. You gotta give the audience something more, you know. Say not not Miss KZ Tandinga. Okay, yeah, but my wife. Miss KZ Tandingan. Okay, or Mrs. KZ Tandingan Monterde. Let's go, you know? And give her a kiss on the cheek. You don't have to kiss her on the mouth, on the cheek. They will go crazy. CTO, Dagan Kang Salamat, Senyong. Very, very warm welcome. Sa akong pinalanggang boy palagi. Palagi. Dagan Salamat. Once again, palapakan nato, KZ. Thank you very much, baby. Hey, he said baby. Thank you so much, enjoy the rest of the night. Hey, there we go. That's cute. He said baby. New version released in an hour. What's the hours now? Eleven plus, so like. Guys, in exactly thirty-three minutes, there's gonna be another version. Na pwede na niyo stream. Oh, I see. So this concert happened before the release of the new version of Palagi. Okay, they announced it at the concert. Oh, that's very nice. That's really, really nice. Uh, 
Uh, okay, okay. Well, it sounds very similar to the original. It's just that KZ is on it. And of course, KZ is gonna bring something special to any song, to be honest. Um, I still can't believe that Casey Tandingan actually rapped on one of my beats years ago, man. That was so sweet. I think it was during the pandemic, but I'm not sure. Um, yeah, lovely. Just lovely. Okay, now I really want to, to understand the lyrics because uh, there is a reason why people are so obsessed with this song. And I don't think it's necessarily the music you know yes the music is part of it but i think it's the whole thing it's the music it's the fact that it's a couple singing it and it's the lyrics so verse one not even smiling every day how many times have we said no we can't count on we can't count our mistakes let's say goodbye we don't realize anymore pre-chorus here we go chorus but in the end, always still coming back to your embrace. Until the end, always I will choose to be yours. See, it's cute, it's cute, it's romantic. Even if I say it over, uh, even if I say it over and over again, I want you to know I'm always yours. <laughs> Verse two, if you look back on the hardships, tears are all. You are the favorite, my decision. You mean you are my favorite decision and when surrounded by noise and chaos i wouldn't trade your smile for the world ah uh, so pre-chorus chorus is the same thing bridge which should be different with the arrival of our silver and gold reach for diamonds you are still my star haha <laughs> what's the name uh how do you say star in filipino uh ah i forgot my unique prayer in the last century see i don't know why but the internet does not know how to properly translate tagalog to to english it's always so wonky it's so strange if you guys have a better link for the translation uh, i'd love to to get you know to to have it so that i could read it uh, but still, I can understand, you know, the gist of it. It's very romantic. It's all about strong love. So there you have it. Uh, now I know what Palagi sounds like, the original, but also the remix. So you tell me in the comment section below, which version do you prefer and what are the reasons? Because in this case, I think that it's the reasons that are, that are the more, the most interesting because, you know, let's, let's face it, you know, let's face the fact here. The remix is very close to the original, but why is it more popular than the original? I'm, I'm you know, I told you why I think so, but I'd love to know your, uh, you know, your thoughts as well. But I'm Aramik Salamat Po, and of course, if you found value in this video, do not hesitate to check out my other reaction videos right here.